Let's build a physics-based Metroidvania controller. First drag an idle frame into the scene. Now give that game object an animator component. Give it a 2D capsule collider, then adjust those sizes to fit the character. Give it a rigid body component. Drag all those idle animation frames into a new animation clip. Do the same for the run animation. Create a new FSM called player move. We're gonna have a state for idle, left, right, and moving. If they're pressing left, we send to left. If they're pressing right, we send to right. So the sprite flips in whichever direction we're pressing. When the player's not pressing anything, we go back to idle. Now we can set the velocity of this game object with whatever direction the player's inputting. So when you press left, okay, your boy falls over, but you come over here to the rigid body and freeze the rotation, and there we go. You can move left and right. Make an FSM for jumping. When the player presses jump, go from the grounded state to the jump state. In the jump state, we'll add force upward on the y-axis. When the player lets go of jump, then we go from the jump state to the falling state. If not, wait 0.25 seconds. Make a new FSM that just has a ray cast to check if there's ground underneath the player's feet. We could be checking whether or not the player has touched the ground yet, and if they have, send back to grounded. For a more in-depth and step-by-step -step guide on how to do everything you just saw and more, check out the full course on Gumroad.